All right, so after uh, a few weeks of Rubik's cubing stuff around the garage to actually get some space, we're about ready to start on uh, this 55 Buick. So uh, here's a little bit what we're working with here. Uh, everybody knows 55 Chevys, 55s. Uh, yeah, it's my favorite year of the tri fives, but the Buicks are pretty cool. Uh, so as uh, you can see, they got some custom factory styling here. We got little hooded uh, headlight rings that's factory pretty neat you got the uh, the Dolly Parton's of course pretty popular in uh, the 50s I think the 57 Cadillac I think had the biggest of all of all the Parton's but those are still pretty sizable pretty big little walk around now this car I bought sight unseen auction pictures only dark pictures uh, this is in a building that the roof of the building was probably only six inches over the roof of this car. I mean, this thing was tucked away pretty good and uh, couldn't really see much. <laughs> but I love the two-door post style, so I bought it anyway. It wasn't quite as uh, solid as I had hoped, seeing as it hadn't been on the road since 1971. It wasn't that old when I got put away but uh <coughs> excuse me apparently it's awesome winter use so it's got some uh ventilation yeah and it's also got some uh i guess you'd call it quick and dirty body work this this panel here is actually stuck right over the top of the original panel which must have rusted out and then the panel they stuck on that rusted out. So that got rusty, so to say. And then we got a rocker panel here, which this looks about the same. I I, I, I think that's a, uh, I think that might be a panel right over a panel too. I'm not sure. I'll have to take a look. But the styling on these cars is really cool. They got the, the stainless down the side and the, the swoop. They made these with both um, like a skirt type uh, quarter panel just like the 55 Chevy are very similar and then um, the posts and some others had the uh, the curb the the full full radius wheelhouse I guess it doesn't really matter if it was a post or a hard top now thinking about it I've seen them both ways but it's pretty neat so uh, it's got uh, paint delete paint delete option uh, a lot of places which is pretty good and we've got uh, the paint peel option so there I, I guess that's the original kind of reddish color and now it's kind of like a faded purple I don't know I, I registered it as a uh, purple and I guess once it's driving down the road and uh, we'll see how much paint still on it once it's going down the road because I don't plan on really changing anything on this it's obvious this car uh, is rougher than you would restore you could sink, you know, 20, 30 grand in this thing and have a, a $15,000 car. So you don't want to do that. So this way I'll save it and it'll uh, still be turning out something cool, I think. Uh, trunk right now, it's automatic, doesn't close. I think they lost the key, so we'll take care of that. We have the uh, no spare tire well. Also common in the 50s cars. I think that was the cardboard for the inside of the trunk. Trunk floor still, still looks okay. This back area is rusted, but that's uh, that's common for this era car. My other 55 Buick was the same way. I don't know if they just pack mud up in there, but they, they all rust in the same spot. Got the foliage, Topere, we'll leave that. This is pretty, I didn't notice this. I don't know if that's a handle. I guess that's a handle for the trunk. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, we need that lens. We don't have that. Look at that. This side's about the same. Uh, kind of missing some metal. That rocker panel's definitely a stick on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, Two tone. With the white and red. I mean, this car must have been pretty pretty cool when it was when it was new uh doors like the trunk 
Pretty. Yep. And we got this front seat looks really good, actually. Not horrible. Hor oh, man. Well, it stinks in here. There's the mouse. Yeah, we got mouse in here. This smells really bad in here. Uh, back seat. Yeah. Yep. Back seat looks like there was a rodent. Something was living in here. That's not good. Uh, missing that. Dash is still pretty much complete. When I bought this at auction, it was uh, the top piece was missing. We actually found it laying in the in the building. So luckily we got that. Some switches are missing. Horde knobs missing. Uh, the trim for around the windshield was missing. I got some of that. But some of this stuff I still have to source. Uh, windshield seals are leaking. I got, uh, yep, I got ice on the floor in there. I know the floors are going to need work, no doubt. No doubt. Awesome, but, yep, that doesn't close, so I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, the hood is not bolted down right now. I don't know why it wasn't, but it wasn't. And the engine, if I can get it open. Oof. Engine is not engine is not a whole engine. So it's missing uh, a lot. I don't know if engine was junk and somebody was planning on taking it out and just never did. I don't know. This guy, I got the, the guy who was selling all these cars at auction, unfortunately he passed away, but strange he would he would buy these cars and either take them apart and scatter the parts throughout the building and they didn't do anything with them or luckily like this one i think they just started messing around with the dash and that was it so i lost some parts on the dash but the rest of the cars is intact so it's going to be built so it'll be fun it's definitely different it's definitely it's ugly, but I think it's ugly cool because I love this body style and to see something like this go down the road with a uh, a good amount of power should be pretty cool. Maybe we'll even put a you know a couple hubcaps on it. But uh, that's the overview. Next, it goes into the shop, and we'll start uh, see what's underneath. I haven't even looked underneath this car. I'm hoping the frame's good. If the frame is not good, well, frame swap may be an option. We'll find out as soon as I get up on the lift. And that'll be next.